So I'm going to um, I'm going to call on somebody to um, uh, to move the recommendations. Oh, sorry, Evelina. Yep. Um, okay. I just put on your mic. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Um, I just want to make two quick notes um, about the report. There's two incorrect figures in there. Um, in I think it's section eight. So Namanu um, said uh, the report says that they were requesting two thousand, but the correct figure is $1,778. Um, Paika Kiriki Housing Trust, I believe the report says um, that they're requesting 2000 but again, the correct figure is $1,500. Um, all that being said, do I get to take the report as read now? Yes, okay, you do. I will take the report as read. Okay. Thank you. Oh, any questions? Those adjusted amounts, does that affect our... Uh, no. Evelina, I just want to congratulate you on an excellent report. Oh, thanks. Yes. Well done, you. Thanks, Aaron, as well. <laughs> and wish Aaron all the best in saving lives. Um, okay, so do I have somebody to um, um, move the recommendations? Mr Chair, I'd like to move these recommendations that yes, the yes. Grants Allocation Committee grants $2,000 to volunteer carpety for administration and marketing costs. And that the Grants Allocation Committee grants $2,000 to Carpety Community Food Bank to support meat pack purchases. That the Grants Allocation Committee grants $2,000 to the Nest Collective to provide packs of baby essentials to whānau in need. That the Grants Allocation Committee grants $1,755.40 to Kapiti Mana Multiples to provide household essential hampers to parents of newborn multiples. That the Grants Allocation Committee grants $1,700 to the Kapiti Loss and Grief Centre to upgrade their chairs and purchase a new printer. That the Grants Allocation Committee grants $1,000 to the Paraparumu Beach School to purchase equipment for their Matariki event. The Grants Allocation Committee grants $2,000 to the Kapiti Women's Health Collective Incorporated to administer costs for their Centre Worker Volunteer Training Program. The Grants Allocation Committee grants $600 to Paikakariki Speakeasy to contribute to haul hire costs. The Grants Allocation Committee grants $700 to the Kapiti Horticultural Association to purchase trees for community planting initiatives. The Grants Allocation Committee grants $1,483 to the Kapiti Coast Workers Educational Association Incorporated to contribute to course administration costs. The Grants Allocation Committee grants $150 to Kapiti Autism a Parent Support Group to contribute to room hire costs. <clears throat> Excuse me. That the Grants Allocation Committee grants $2,000 to Men's Shed Carpet Incorporated to insist with administration costs. That the Grants Allocation Committee grants $1,800 to Good Bitches Trust to assist with administration and equipment costs associated with their baking program. The Grants Allocation Committee grants $2,000 to Grandparents Raising Grandchildren Carpet to purchase emergency packs for their new support group. The Grants Allocation Committee grants $1,500 to the Pākākāriki Housing Trust to contribute to two part-time contracts. The Grants Allocation Committee grants $984.60 to the Kilns at Te Horo to train and provide equipment to volunteers. That the Grants Allocation Committee grants $1,912 to Larch Carpety Incorporated to upgrade their current productive gardens. That the Grants Allocation Committee grants $2,000 to Energize Autarki to contribute to the cost of bike transportation for their working bees. That the Grants Allocation Committee grants $1,778 to Namanu Trust 
to purchase warm gear for their volunteers' use. The Grants Allocation Committee grants $2,000 to Kibosh for equipment for their seasonal cooking classes. The Grants Allocation Committee grants $1,702 to Actively Coping with Cancer for administration and facilitation costs associated with their Actively Coping with Cancer. And the Grants Allocation Committee grants $1,500 to Cobbler's Soup for a new freezer for surplus vegetables and soup. And the Grants Allocation Committee grants $1,435 to Otaki Toy Library to purchase new toys and assist with advertising costs. I'll pass it to my colleague. Uh, so do I have a seconder? Because we'll, we'll take those as a, as right. a lump. Do so we have a seconder? Seconded. Um, Shelley, so all those in favour? Aye. Covered. Against? Carried. Councillor Warwick. This is, um, by the way, just um, for the, the uninitiated, this is just um, further recommendations being moved by Councillor Warwick. I move that the Grants Allocation Committee grants $2,000 to Digital Seniors for administration costs to expand their service in Kapiti, and that the Grants Allocation Committee grants $2,000 to Age Concern Kapiti Incorporated for costs of producing their monthly newspaper. Do I need to note that John Hayes? No, you don't need to note that. But um, do we have a seconder for those? Seconded Councillor Coford. Uh, all those in favour? Aye. Aye. Right. Against? Carried. Uh, and council work. Do you want to carry on with these last recommendations? Um, I move that the Grants Allocation Committee declines to grant to Asthma NZ towards a salary for asthma, a capital asthma nurse. That the Grants Allocation Committee declines to grant to Paraparamu Beach Dune Res Restoration Group to purchase more tools and plants for their initiative. That the Grants Allocation Committee declines to grant to the Wellington Multiple Sclerosis Society Incorporated to contribute to retaining a community advisor. That the Grants Allocation Committee declines to grant to Hearts, Heart Kids New Zealand Incorporated to provide grocery vouchers for Kapiti families. That the Grants Allocation Committee declines to grant to Kapiti Waldorf Trust to contribute to the Mural Commission. That gra the Grants Allocation Committee declines to grant to Nourish Trust to purchase materials for their Christmas hampers. That the Grants Allocation Committee declines to grant to Ali's Canine Rescue and Rehome to D6 5 to 7 Dogs and that the Grants Allocation Committee declines to grant to Tupuna or Pukikaraka for administration costs to open a school holiday program. Okay, do I have a seconder? <coughs> Council covered. All those in favour? Aye. Against? <laughs> I'm assuming that's um, in jest. Um, so, uh, I'll just read these. The um, just further noting this for um, public consumption that the grants allocation committee note that the application for Kapiti Youth Employment Foundation has been withdrawn by the applicant. That the application from Kapiti Lions Combined Book Fair to assist in administration is ineligible. That the application from Melectra Management to contribute to the administration equipment fees for their workshop is ineligible. That the application for uh, Kapiti Senior Fitness to contribute to gym classes is ineligible. That the application from uh, Kapiti Table Tennis Club for administration fees is ineligible. And that the application from Paraparaumu Indian Community for administration costs to facilities uh, to facilitate cultural celebrations is ineligible. That the application from the Paraparamu Indian Cultural to facilitate community traditional Indian celebrations is ineligible. I don't think we need to move, that's just noting it. So um, thank you very much. 
everybody. Uh, so we'll move to confirmation of the minutes. So somebody who was at the last meeting would like to move those. Count mm -hmm. moves Councillor Coford, seconded Mr Hayes. All those in favour? Aye. All right, done. Need no division, Rob? No? Okay, all good. <laughs> Is unanimous, um, and we have a, uh, a closing karakia. Does our GM want to do that? Yep. Tweet runga tweet waho tweet waho a roto tweet waho tweet hiri tangata karonga te ao karonga te tau hui e hui e aike. Cool. Uh, and I just want to say, uh, Aaron, uh, again we had a little. We had a little kororo earlier, but um, thank you very much for all of your efforts, not just today, but for well, since I've been doing this for it seems like a long time, but 18 months. Um, yeah, thanks very much, and yeah, all the best in the, in the new gig. Cheers. Thanks, mate.